breaking news overnight, Russia launching its largest air assault of the invasion on Ukraine. Russian military now ramping up attacks on what are believed to be civilian areas. A government building in Kharkiv hit by a shelling today. And then that building caught fire. You can see the video here, uh, the roof of another building crumbling, falling to the ground. Firefighters rushed to pull people from that rubble, uh, captured on camera, saving a survivor from destruction. Meanwhile, that 40-mile Russian convoy we've been telling you about, it stalled. Soldiers short on fuel and food. And they're just holding in place uh, by logistical problems. Our Robert Sherman is live in Ukraine this morning with the very latest for us. Good morning, Robert. Good morning there, Adrian. And the Kremlin confirms to us that they're prepared to return to the negotiation table and resume peace talks. We're still waiting for Kyiv to confirm as Russian forces continue to shell Ukrainian cities. Overnight, Russia intensified its bombing of civilian areas and non-military targets. This is a police and intelligence headquarters in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and home to some of the heaviest shelling and resistance fighting. A Russian strike ripped off its roof. Firefighters scrambled to put out the flames and find any victims. At least four people are dead. Several others rescued, including this woman pulled out of the rubble. Russian airstrikes hit homes and a hospital close to a Ukrainian airbase, killing at least two people. And an attack on a military academy overnight shows an orange blasting cloud lighting up the sky. On Tuesday, a missile hit Kyiv's TV tower and a Holocaust memorial site. President Zelensky says Russians killed Holocaust victims for the second time. They don't know a thing about our capital, about our history, but they all have orders to erase our history, erase our country, erase us all. The Kremlin claims it seized Kherson in the south of Ukraine. It would be the first major population center under Russian control. But a 40-mile convoy is facing challenges on its way to Kyiv. U.S. military officials believe Russian forces are facing shortages of food, fuel, and low morale. While Russia's fight for Ukraine enters day seven, normalcy is hard to find. New moms were forced into a bomb shelter. At least four babies born in the shelter, including two on Tuesday. And Ukrainian leaders have emphasized that they want peace, but will not kowtow to Russian ultimatums. Interesting polling numbers this morning coming from the Kyiv Independent here in Ukraine. 88% of polled Ukrainians say that they believe they will successfully fend off the Russian advance. And President Volodymyr Zelensky's approval rating stands at 93%. Adrian? Well, he is undoubtedly a, a passionate leader for his people right now. Robert, there have been so many difficulties getting to the border with long lines heading out of Ukraine, but you have updated numbers on just how many are now refugees? That number is swiftly approaching 700,000, Adrian. And what we've seen from our experience, the, a plurality of such of, uh, of uh, refugees are ending up in Poland. They're going through those checkpoints. But what we are seeing more and more is the diversity of places that people are going towards. Now you're seeing Moldova, Hungary, Slovakia, Romania. You're seeing a lot of Ukrainians fleeing towards those countries as well. Again, the EU estimates that when all is said and done, we're going to be looking at millions of Ukrainians displaced, uh, but those numbers continue to swiftly rise. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.